five ways to set up your webinar for storytelling success. Listen, there's quite a few webinars out there. There's often bold declarations that the webinar is in fact dead. Maybe the webinar is not dead. Maybe just boring content and a speaker flipping through slides repeatedly with zero context and zero emotion is really what the problem is. So before we get into the five steps, uh, maybe just maybe we should take a look at a couple stats that indicate we might be right and the actual webinar itself is not dead. So the best kind of webinar content spins product specs and customer testimonials into compelling sales narratives. And why is that? Well, buyers respond to it. Messages received as part of a story register 22 times better with people than just facts. And while people like to buy, guess what? No one likes to be sold to. So 71% of buyers are actually turned off by content that seems like a sales pitch. And listen, we've all been there, get super excited by a headline and the promise of a great webinar. And then it just turns into basically the open up the trench coat and sell the used and fake Rolex uh, show, right? And nobody wants that. Now, I know sales storytelling can often seem like this big, complex, uh, rainbows and butterflies type thing, but if we just boil it down to the most basic, good sales storytelling does three things. First, it puts your client in the hero role. Second, it helps differentiate your brand from competitors. And three, and probably most importantly, a good sales storytelling makes it easier for your customers to buy. So if you're ready to jump into how to do this with your webinars, let's rock and roll. Step one, pick a main character. You want to choose one of your buyer personas to target with your webinar. And it may seem more efficient to hold one webinar that appeals to everybody and multiple target audiences. But in fact, trying to appeal to so many people, uh, you end up pleasing nobody. So pick your one main character, your one buyer persona, and that's where we're going to get started. Step two, pick a niche. Now that you have your main character, you want to focus your webinar content on one strategy or pain point your main character is interested in using or solving. Ideally, of course, it's one that you offer. Step three, pick a point of view. Stories have conflict. So if you're just showcasing how your product works, that's a demo, not a webinar. Take an interesting stance, go against an industry norm, ask a polarizing question. You wanna stand out because there is tension that's built into the storytelling process and there should be tension that's actually built into your webinar content as well. Step four, pick some interest points like a page turning book or that Netflix series. You just keep playing and keep asking if you're still watching. Your webinar needs cliffhangers and foreshadowing. So you want to ask questions that you don't answer for a slide or two, introduce some startling statistics or attention grabbing graphs. You want to tease some information on topics that you're going to touch on later and leave your audience hanging on for more. Last but not least, in your webinar storytelling, you need to pick a format. So how you present your webinar is actually going to inform how you end up telling your story. Single presenter webinars are the most common and easiest way to control discussions, uh, but you might also look at bringing in a Q&A, an expert, or someone to help tell your story on your behalf. Now, you don't necessarily have to have a detailed script, but it certainly helps the more stakeholders you have involved. If you do opt for an interview or panel discussion style with multiple presenters, it's possible to keep your story flowing. You just want to make sure that you structure your webinar in a way that's going to keep people's attention by, again, offering these points of action and interest. And you want to make sure that you structure your uh, webinar in terms of a beginning, a middle, and an end, right? So the beginning might be your introduction. The middle might actually be where the bulk of the story takes place. Think of it as a journey. And then finally, your end is your outro as well as your call to action. And if you want to see how a call to action works in this respect, go to prewrite.com in our library and you can check out our webinar template where you can actually copy and paste it into your own uh, workspace and start utilizing storytelling in your own webinars today. Again, these are five main steps that you want to utilize in order to ensure uh, storytelling success in your webinars. First, start with picking a main character, then pick a niche, then you want to pick a point of view, 
Then you're going to pick your uh, interests and action points. And of course, you're going to select the proper format for your webinar. Have any other tips on storytelling and webinars? Let us know at prewrite.com.